poor sleep. This is a common symptom. So th this can be at the onset. It can be in the middle of the night. That means frequent breaks or early morning awakening. So I'm going to link this with a very important condition called obstructive sleep apnea. So normally we know that obstructive sleep apnea, the symptoms are loud snoring, choking in sleep and increased daytime sleepiness. But can obstructive sleep apnea patients also complain of poor sleep? Yes. How often can this happen? This can happen almost 40 to 50 percent of patients with sleep apnea can have a middle of the night insomnia. And it is important to recognize this because patients, when they complain that I cannot sleep, the sleep breaks too often, are mostly prescribed a sleeping pill. So I saw such a patient today who's had a complaint of frequent breaks in sleep, but is on a sleeping medication for many years. So how to recognize this? So the presence of loud snoring with frequent breaks in sleep, and yes, dryness of the mouth, drinking a lot of water, going frequent trips to the washroom are all suggestive of this underlying condition called as obstructive sleep apnea. So this should be tested by an overnight sleep test, evaluated, confirmed, and appropriate treatment given. In fact, it's been seen that these people, especially with this middle of the night insomnia, once treated with CPAP, they do really well, compliance is good, and do not need a sleeping pill. So I do hope that this myth that sleep apnea cannot cause insomnia is dispelled. Or in other words, if those who have poor sleep should also be evaluated for sleep apnea, except especially when they have the other symptoms such as loud snoring.